ट्रायल बैलेंस एंड रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ एरर्स नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ ट्रायल बैलेंस व्हाई इज इट प्रिपेयर्ड व्हाट इज द नेसेसिटी व्हाट पर्पसेस इट सर्व्स एंड हाउ टू रेक्टिफाई द एरर्स दैट हैव बीन कॉज्ड इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग एज वी हैव अंडरस्टूड टिल नाउ नाउ स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट इज द ट्रायल बैलेंस द डेफिनेशन इज मेंशनड हियर इट इज स्टेटमेंट शोइंग it is a statement showing the balances or the totals of debit and credit of all the accounts in the ledger with a view to verify the arithmetical accuracy of postings into the ledger accounts now students i have underlined certain keywords in this definition first of all it is a statement remember trial balance is not an account it is a statement it merely reflects on a particular position it does not draw out any results so it is a statement which shows the balances or the totals that means trial balance can show the balances of the accounts or either ways it can show the totals of the debit and the credit sides of all the accounts that is each and every account is shown in the trial balance with a view to verify the arithmetical accuracy now this is important it verifies only the mathematical accuracy of the accounts that is the totals and the postings into the ledger accounts besides this nothing can be verified so now it is a statement which shows the balances of the totals of debit and credit of all the accounts with a view to verify the arithmetical accuracy it is prepared after we have prepared all the ledger accounts now as we know in accounting process first of all we make journal entries journal entries it is a part of recording that is the step 1 in accounting recording then we do ledger postings it is a part of the step classification now students thereafter comes the step of summarizing in this step we prepare trial balance it is a small and a short statement which shows the balances or the totals of all the accounts now the format of the trial balance appears like this on the top you'll have to write trial balance of the name of the business as on date here we'll have to mention the date and here name why date because these balances are balances as on a particular date so trial balance is prepared only as on a particular date the format appears like this account heading that is the name of the account ledger folio then debit amount and credit amount once we have totaled all the accounts we have found out the balances of all the ledger accounts then those balances are transferred in this trial balance let's say for example you totaled cash account and it shows a debit balance of 80000 so cash account in the debit column 80000 now students this is the balance right if an account shows a credit balance it will be shown on the credit side now what is the use of preparing trial balance the objective of preparing a trial balance is very very important it actually serves three fold purposes 
the first one being objectives the first one being it actually verifies arithmetical accuracy that is all the totals are correct all the postings are correct besides this no other part of accuracy can be verified it helps in locating the errors locating the errors let's say if the total of the trial balance doesn't tally out it means that one or more errors are there then a series of logical steps is followed to locate such errors now what is the series of logical steps first of all we'll start with postings then totalings and then transfer to various other accounts so following these logical steps can help us to locate errors and the last one being it helps in preparation of final accounts that is trading and profit and loss trading profit and loss account and balance sheet now students as this trial balance presents the statement in a summarized manner it shows the accounts and their balances or their totals so this summary can be used very easily to prepare trading account and balance sheets that is the final accounts of the business now moving ahead there are a few problems that arise or few basic questions that arise that is is it mandatory is it mandatory to prepare a trial balance no a very big answer to this is no it is not mandatory to prepare a trial balance then why is it prepared it is prepared to check the arithmetical accuracy and to present information in a concise and clear manner that is why prepared it is prepared to present summarized information and it is prepared to check arithmetical accuracy although preparation of trial balance is not a conclusive proof that there is no error but still basic arithmetical accuracy like postings and totalings can be verified so then we have another question here is it a conclusive proof of accuracy is it a conclusive proof of accuracy no answer is no trial balance is not a conclusive proof of accuracy it merely verifies the arithmetical part of the accounts errors of omission is a very good example that is if you omit an entry omission cannot be located cannot be located through a trial balance through a trial balance now this is just one example there are many more types of errors which cannot be located through trial balance so there are some basic questions regarding trial balance 
first of all is it mandatory no it is not mandatory but yet it is prepared because it presents information in a concise and summarized manner and it checks the arithmetical accuracy of the accounts then is it a conclusive proof no it is not a conclusive proof various types of errors can be still present in the accounts while your trial balance is agreeing one example is omission that is if particular entry has been omitted altogether your trial balance will agree but this error will still remain there 